Welcome back to the Cadet East Gym here on the campus of the United States Air Force Academy where the Air Force Falcons go the distance with the Iowa Hawkeyes and pick up their second win of the season. The scores 20-25 in favor of Iowa in the first set, 28-26 Air Force, 25-21 Air Force. Iowa forces a fifth set by winning 25-20, but then Air Force, George Egan really put it to Iowa in the fifth set. It might have been their best performance of the night was in that fifth set. They were solid. They kept the offense of Iowa off balance. They received, a, uh, they had service aces. They had rushed sets and the blocking. They wound up with 14 team blocks versus eight for Iowa. Statistically, it was pretty much the same. They, they had the same amount of digs, 64, 62. Service aces were pretty even but when we when the Falcons got their points they came in spurts and it was again the service and the defense of the Falcons. Well as we take a look at some of the highlights from tonight's match it was not a great start for Air Force. Iowa came in they had played earlier today against Incarnate Word maybe in a little bit more of a rhythm uh, than Air Force was and certainly you had Courtney, Courtney Bazzario who was a force all evening evening long. She got some help from her teammates, but as this match went on, Air Force got better and better, and one thing you and I kept touching on, George, was the balance tonight from Air Force. They got contributions from up and down this roster. Absolutely. There were three double-digit players, or players with uh, double-digit double kills. Bailey had 16. Savannah Neal had 11. Ella Shore had 10. But even more than just the kills, it was the distribution of the offense because there was five that had over double digit attempts at the ball which is amazing and then we had Mac Russ <laughs> she had eight blocks on the night against Cal State Fullerton she had nine so she's now getting into a rhythm on blocking well, and they got contributions from everywhere in the final point tonight. That was it, as it was Ella Shore who was able to put it down, and Air Force celebrates a big win over Iowa. Back-to-back -back wins now, and they'll turn around tomorrow, play Incarnate Wor Word. It will start at noon Mountain Time. We really hope that you will join us for that, and then it will be on to the Mountain West conference season so Air Force may be peaking at the right time heading into the conference schedule that will do it from for us here at the Cadet East Gym uh, thanks to our outstanding crew led by the incomparable Brian German and for my uh, broadcast partner George Egan I'm Ryan Kaufman saying good night from the Air Force Academy where Air Force defeats Iowa in five sets to start off the Mile High Invitational we'll talk Talk to you tomorrow.